Welcome back, friends. Okay, our friends at Logan supports families in a variety of ways, including a summer camp. Yes, they have a summer camp, which is dedicated to individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and sign up is open right now. So joining me now is Sarah, did I say it right, Mackin? You sure did. Okay, good. There we go. Sarah Mackin, who is, by the way, the Logan Wellness Manager. Sarah, thank you for being here. Of course. Talk, talk about first, for those who are watching us for the first time, yep. what is Logan all about? So Logan serves uh, individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Um, we wear many hats. We have definitely residential sites, autism centers all over the place, even in Michigan. Um, we serve like a day program for um, clients of adults, you know, and then we also have um, what I do is recreation programs. Wow. So programs in the evenings, yeah. kind of fun things that they can do. You all have so much going. I mean, you can't look at one thing. You said you guys wear so many hats. Yep. What you do specifically, I can imagine how rewarding. It is. Yes, yes, definitely. I have made some lifelong just loves, like people that I just adore mm -hmm. and I don't see. It's very hard to see if I ever leave that Aww. life because they mean so much to me. It's a strong connection. I've mm -hmm. been there so many times in my relationship with you guys. It's just seeing what you guys do every day. It's really appreciated. Yeah. Talk about this camp, this summer camp. Who can come? How can viewers get involved? Yeah. Talk about it. So uh, we serve uh, ages 9 through 45. Um, like I said, as long as they have an IEP, they kind of qualify. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go on to logancenter.org and under services, there's a wellness tab and there's an application. It describes it's an eight week long camp we have each week is different fun themes so we have splish blast science alive um, outrageous fun wow. things like that and so you can kind of pick what you want we uh, have five interns that run the camp and they we do have some repeat interns this year so they're very excited yeah. um, and we plan a very fun um, just kind of all different types of things. Um, we've had Splish Splash Week, we always get a dunk tank. They can dunk the interns. It's very immersive. Yeah, yeah. So there's like just so many things that they can do and I think the, the clients that do come, they really enjoy it. Um, we have tons of guests that come. Uh, we have like we uh, Penn Robotics team came last year. We've had uh, Potawatomi Zoo always come, South Bend Fire Department, South Bend K-9 unit. We try and involve tons of people in our camp just to kind of make it so exciting. What's the reaction when, when you see the folks who are benefiting from this camp there? What's the reaction when they see things like the zoo and the robotics teams coming in? What are the reactions you see? Well, they love it. I mean, yeah. they're so excited and then they go home and they talk about it mm -hmm. and then they talk about it all year long until summer camp comes up again. It's something that we like to bring back those regular clients that can come every single summer and they look forward to it. I don't know if you know this number by heart. How many or around how many are you serving every single summer? So last year was the first summer we did it since mm -hmm. COVID. So it was a little bit short. We had okay. about 12 people every day. This summer, we have over 45 applications wow. now. Okay. So we're hoping to serve about 25 to 30 a day. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me ask you again, I just talked about how fulfilling this is for you, but for folks at home who are wary and say, you know what, I don't trust this place. I've never been there before. Yeah. How can they, they could just go online and they can look at everything yeah. that you guys do and there's videos on YouTube as well. Do I have yep. that correct? Yep, we have pictures and videos on the website, I'm okay. sure. Um, but we also are offering uh, May 28th. It's kind of like an open house for families. They can come and tour the property and kind of see the location, what we have to offer and everything like that. So then they can feel more comfortable. And we're very flexible. So, you know, we've had kids that come and it's maybe it's overstimulating for them. Sure. Well, then you're not committed to that whole week you know if it doesn't work out that's okay we can try again next year or we can you know maybe try a different week that they might enjoy more so we're very flexible i had an i uh, my personally i was able to go there on site and see some of the things you guys do yeah. with those kids during the summer and some of the adults as well yeah and it is remarkable to see how yeah. much they enjoy it and within days they're like oh this is where this happened this is where that happened so it's it's one of those things where it's immersive you talked about it but mm -hmm. it's also rewarding for people involved and the volunteers too because you guys have a lot of volunteers yes. every summer right yes so we always try to get volunteers that's a huge help for us um, we put on our website kind of a volunteer and I always send like emails to students that may be interested and they can go on and apply and then they can come all day or for a couple hours throughout the day and just kind of help with activities mm -hmm. um, you know little things and it, it's rewarding because they make those relationships with these clients as well and they I mean how many times do I have volunteers that <laughs> right. are like you know I want to come back when's next summer when do you start yeah and you can come visit too exactly. we would love to have you I they love would love you I love being there and I love coming to see so many people and their lives are just transformed yeah mm -hmm. and it's only a summer so speaking of that let's just end things here how can people go online and register for sign up or things like that even if they want to do it next summer um, so like I said logancenter.org there's a service tab it'll say wellness summer camp you can find all the information the link to the application you can also my email will be on there you can shoot me an email just to kind of say hey we're interested maybe next year how can we go about that and I can always let you know uh, Sarah I am so sorry <laughs> that you're about
about to see so many emails coming through right That's now. That's okay. Great. I love that. Gives <laughs> me something this, to do. This is great, though. <laughs> and a lot of people who don't know about Logan, trust us. They are everything that you want and more for those who may have developmental disabilities. Uh, Sarah Mackett, thank you so much for everything you thank do. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. We'll be right back. Stay there. Thank you.